Okay, our download of the HP software and driver uh, files has completed, so we're going to open the folder, and then from here we're going to click on the file. Oops. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes? You say yes. It's going to extract the file and all of the setup materials. This process takes a few minutes, so this video will be a little bit longer than the others, just because I want to make sure that you understand real time how long this process takes. The nice thing about this process is that all of the processes uh, have a status bar, so you can see whether it hangs up uh, or whether it's still connected. Now at this point, it's important to note that we've completed the Bluetooth pairing process. So if you haven't already done that, go and look at that previous video, do the Bluetooth pairing, because that's one of the menu options that you get as you're doing the setup. It asks you whether you're connecting uh, using a USB cable, whether you're connecting using a Bluetooth device. You could use this printer with multiple devices, of course. If you wanted to use this with a desktop computer, you could connect it with a USB cable. You could actually use the supplied disks to complete that process. Um, or again, you could use this setup program. The setup program is fairly intuitive. It's fairly straightforward. It's going to ask you to select your input option. And then during that process, it's going to ask you to verify that you're connected uh, to the, the Bluetooth. So here, you've got your selections on the left-hand side. The first selection is Install USB Connected Devices, Install Bluetooth Connected Device, Windows Mobile Solutions, and BlackBerry Solutions. In this case, we're going to install a Bluetooth Connected Device. It's checking the system now. And here's one of our first um, acknowledgments of the Bluetooth. It says to make sure that the Bluetooth radio is on. In this case it is because we just paired this device through a process a few minutes ago. So we're going to select the, blocks, the box that says the Bluetooth radio is turned on. If it's not already turned on, you need to stop the setup process at this point and go do that. So we'll collect next. Please allow all HP processes to continue, so it's going to ask you to, whenever prompted, say continue, yes, allow, permit. Um, you're not going to get many of those boxes, if at all, um, during this process. This is a user license agreement that you'll need to select you have reviewed and accepted. Click Next. Now we've moved on to the next selection. We're preparing the system for installation. This is all an automatic process. You'll see a black box pop up on the left hand side a few times. That just means that it's completing automated processes in the background. Nothing to worry about. Now it's installing the software. So it's prepped the system. It's verified that our system meets the requirements. It's now installing. It will install three different software packages. It'll install the drivers, it'll install an enhanced version of Bing, and then it does a third installation um, to basically create the functionality for the printer. Again, we know that this process is continuing because we see a status bar scrolling to the right. We also see the disk. So it's installing the first of three items right now the mobile software, once the status bar reaches the right it will complete the first process it'll install the second item It's finished with the installing of the first item. It's installing the second item, shopping for HP supplies. It's got built-in shopping options if you wanted to buy your um, refills through HP. 
You could buy them at Staples. Um, you could use generic refills. HP recommends that you use the HP branded refills, of course, um, for optimized ink. But uh, this is a fairly high resolution printer, so you know the, the better ink you give it, the better your results will be. installing this the third item now the Bing bar for HP so what this is is it's an add-on for your browser it gives you a little bit of functionality at the top just uh, it optimizes the HP experience so again it takes you to the website if you need support it takes you to um, their their shopping interface if you need accessories ink things like that for the device itself Okay. It's asking to connect the printer to the computer, which we've already done through the Bluetooth pairing process. So we have created a Bluetooth connection already. We'll just select that and click Next. Congratulations, your software install is complete. Finish. Now it's going to pop up with another option for you to register. It also gives you a little bit of information about how to print, how to configure your uh, paper, and uh, how to do some scanning, but we'll just close that for now. Register this product if you want to. You can complete the registration process right now. I'm going to click cancel and uh, don't remind me. That way I can just get rid of this box and we're all set. Okay.